Hello, welcome to the 10,000 non-league football. As promised, I'm here at Ayrworth Park, home of all World Rangers. Today I've got a little interview with a, a certain person. <laughs> manager of all World Rangers, the new manager, Leon Sewell. I'll put you on to him now and to say thanks very much for joining us, Leon. Morning, Steve. Looking forward to the new challenge? Yeah, yeah. Got, you've got to be. You've got to look forward to it, haven't you? Yeah. Enjoy the, the little break that we're having at the moment. and. Well, start thing, did you enjoy your weekend away at Benidorm? <laughs> yeah, from what I can remember of it, yeah. yeah <laughs> That's the way it goes, isn't it? So, took of this new season, you were at Old World, yeah. just got relegated. Yeah. Young sad. Yeah. There's not really much in the social media about any team changes. Obviously, we know yeah. the defender's gone to no Philby, that's the only one. Yeah, what? yeah, the Nichols brothers. Have we got more or less the same team or any um, new signs coming in or? So obviously things happened really quickly. Um you know, I met with met with Darren only a few weeks ago, um and, and you know, shook hands type thing and from there it was it was agreed that it would be a, a blank canvas for for all players um, that are associated with the club, whether that be the the first team, the reserves, uh, and also the under 19s. Um, so yeah, everyone will get a fair, a fair crack. I've spoke to the majority of players uh, that are associated with the club from last season. There's still a few to to make contact with. Um, but no, you know, we'll we'll crack back in a in a couple of weeks. Um, first pre-seasons Saturday the 22nd um, down here. And then we'll go from there, and you know, like I said, it'll be an open door, uh, it'll be a blank canvas for everybody that's, you know, current current players with the club, and also new players um, that want to come and, and have a look, uh, and also players that that have, you know, that'll be inviting down as well. So, quite a competitive league into this no, division one now. We've got yeah, you one East Yorkshire or East or whatever it is. You've got North Ellerby, yeah, local derbies. Yeah, big it's, competitors. It's good, you know, for for us being at East Yorkshire Carnegie last year, or or East Ulster, they're now going to be called. We didn't really have a, a local derby. Um, you know, you've got your Bridge, your Bartons, obviously all road win the Prem. Um, I think our closest derby was Winterton. So, you know, it'll be it'll be good having three teams in in the in the Hull and East Riding area. Um, and you know, but, but, you know it's not, it's not and better. you've got the experience of this league as well because she was with West Stella when yeah. they was in this league a few seasons ago. Yeah, I spent five years at West Stella. Um, two of those years were in Northern Counties. One where you know ultimately we did did well in our first season. Second season um, we struggled a bit. You know, it's it's always hard when you lose players like Spinksy and Alex Woods and I think Joe McFadgen was with us and, and then moved on. And, um, <clears throat> you know, there's Jack Walters, who's who's now at Tadcaster Albion. So we really did lose a lot of players. Um, but yeah, it, the experience side of it for me, um, I, I, I understand what it's like and how it feels um, to get relegated. And that was one of the things that was said when when I joined Carnegie last year in pre-season. I don't I don't want to feel that experience again. And it's all about. How you how you respond, and you know you find, it's about finding the solution to to ultimately that the problem that that was underlying down here last year. And for me, everybody will enjoy pre-season that comes down here, and, and we'll we'll get things right, and and then we'll crack on from there. If you look at the football league table from last season, mm -hmm. like the professionals are to do the last six informed teams. Yeah, if yeah. you look at the end of last season, the last six matches, East Yorkshire Carnegie was second. Yeah, yeah. We was, That's how improved you must have improved in the season. Yeah, we, we, you know, it was it was a new environment for myself and, and my assistant Chris Burke, and you know, it's change. A lot of people don't like change, whether it's in football or, or work life or just personal life. And we, um, you know, we had a real good pre-season. Pre-season was probably our bedding in period, everybody getting to know each other. And then August to December, that was, you know, where it was finding things out on the pitch. And then from December to April, we we really did demand more from the players, and they responded to it. And we, you know, we come out the we come out the other side. And 
think we finished thirteenth, which is more than respectable um, for, for for a club that's still in its infancy, with no with no budget to play with. Um, and out of the the twenty teams last year, from what I understand, there was only AYC and, and Drumfield Town that that didn't have a, a playing budget. Everybody else did, um, and ultimately. There was only three teams, I think, that took six points off us, which was Campion, Nostal and, and Parkgate. Um, so if we can replicate a similar, a similar form uh, down here, then you know we should be we should mm. be good to go. And going back to the league mm -hmm. from last season, what did, well when they did it in Division One, mm -hmm. a lot of people I know, fans that come here and talk about is these back-to-back -back games. Not many people like them, especially uh, with this season. We don't want to be playing East Hill Carnegie on a Saturday and then back on the Tuesday at the start of the season. Yeah. You go, then you've got nothing to look forward to. So yeah, I'm true. hoping that they don't do it this season. Yeah, me too. Um, it was it, it was a bit, at times, it was a bit like a game of chess because, you know, we played, I think we actually played five teams back-to-back. -back. Um, Glass out and Nostal. Winterton, Selby, uh, Dronfield and also Grimsby Borough, so six teams, so it's, you don't really have much time to turn things around, um, you know, and if you want to go with a different formation, you only have a couple Especially of hours. Especially if the game's been heated yeah. on, the, on the first and game and then you've you got true. Tuesday in the, and at least if you've got the second half of the season, the players have calmed down and they've exactly. forgot all that's all forgotten, like, so. Yeah, um, I don't know what the reason for it was, but, you know, hopefully, you know, the fixture secretary may, you know, may take some constructive feedback on board and, and, and the league as well to, to look at it being altered slightly, slightly more. So, well, we, we hope so. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so, new season coming, looking forward to the fixtures out, same zone, so that season, August the 3rd is the first match. Yeah, August the 3rd. Uh, it's not a million miles away, really, when you look at it. No. Uh, and We've got come, football this month for yeah. pre-season, 27th of in June. Yeah, yeah, and it'll come, it'll come round quick. Um, you know, it's about finding that the base levels of fitness, and working with with and without the balls, and you know, come August the third, it's you know everybody starts on zero. Yeah. And, you know, for me, it's about getting. The, Getting those first points on the board as, as quickly as you can, and, and gaining that confidence because there's no there's no better feeling than, than opening up the season. With, with and still points. working with your ex chairman now, Dave, Dave Reader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, Dave Reader was a, a big part of our success last season. Um, the togetherness that that was on show down at, at, at Dunswell Park, you know. Not just myself and Chris and Dave Reader, you know, you've got you know Kev Rev and uh, and Jason and obviously Jamie came back towards the end, um, and then you've got the girls that were running the snack bar, and you know Neil who was doing the gate. It, it really was a you know a true team effort on and off the pitch to for us to achieve what we did. And the thing for me, it's about showing appreciation to the people that work hard. Um, off the pitch, so that we can all come and enjoy a, a Saturday afternoon, running around, you know, playing football for for ninety minutes. That's what it's all about. It so, is, isn't it? Yeah. I'd like to say thanks very much for joining us, and um, I wish yeah. you all the best for the new season. Yeah. Just which was your favourite ground that you go to? Which is your favourite? My favourite ground. Oof. Um, don't really know. To be fair, I've always. I always enjoy going to every ground. Really, it's always nice to, it's to visit different different grounds. Obviously, Brig, Brig are back in the league, oh, yeah, so that's yeah. a nice that's a nice little setup there. Um, one of my favourites in Division One is Winterton. Winterton, yeah. So you always get well looked after at Winterton. Um, Harrogate Railway have obviously come down as well, uh, so that'll be interesting to go there. Um, yeah, we went there last season. We it's the only match that all the run away. It's two one. That <laughs> I was there. How we get? Yeah. I can get to the midweek games, that's not a problem, mate. Like, but yeah. obviously, I'm checking with the camera to more matches. Hopefully, I get more interviews. So good, good, good. And I know a lot of the managers look for after the after the game and that. Yeah. So and I'd like to wish you all the best. And um, Cheers, Steve. I'd like to say thank you for coming. Nice, thanks, and, uh, Thank you. Take care. Cheers, mate. There we go. There's manager of all the Leon.
wishing them all the best and um, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to tell all your friends about my site. 304 members, let's get that raised. I'll try to get that raised up to 350 by the start of the season. I'll do my best. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.